Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a spine plot using Excel. Uh, this is not going to be very straightforward because there are around 26 steps to be taken. Alright, the first step uh, is to have the independent variable in the row. And in my case uh, I have here location, which are three cities, which is the independent variable. And it's actually in the columns. So I need to address this. I can simply select the entire table, press Ctrl C or copy, then click somewhere else, go for home, and under the paste options uh, select transpose. So step one is now actually done. The next thing to do is to determine the row percentages. In order to do that we need the row total. So let's add the row total in, uh, which is simply the sum. Alt equal is actually a shortcut for sum and you can copy paste and now uh, we can calculate the percentages and I'm simply copy pasting all the values again and I'll also need the row total and we can calculate the row percentages by actually saying equals the cell value divided by the row total which is all the way up here and by pressing F4 you can toggle between the different uh, dollar sign options and in this case you want to fix the column when I'm copy pasting and I want them to be shown in percentages so on the home ribbon I select the percentage style copy and paste the whole thing and I now have all the percentages Step 3 is to determine the column percentages for each uh, row total. Uh, sounds a bit odd, but it's actually simply the percentage of these uh, on their own. So I'll need a grand total up here, Alt equal again. And this uh, column percentage, I'm going to call it, is simply the row total divided by this one. F4 to fix the total and we actually now have the three values up there. Insert an extra one. Um, then determine the cumulative percentages for each row total but list this as a number. So in this case here I need to add the cumulative column percentages. Uh, for the first one that simply this one times 100 and I need to undo that those are percentages so I really want them as generic and this one will be simply the previous one plus 100 times this one and the same goes for this one plus 100 times that one and using the format painter we can actually now say these two are also numbers. Okay. Um, for each row create three lines, one above and one before the row with the values. Um, so I need to insert one row above and one row uh, below. The same then for Harlem. I need to insert oh, I need to insert one row above and uh, one row below. And the same for Rotterdam, one row above and one row below. So in essence I've created here now three rows and I'm going to highlight those a little bit each so that they actually every time belong to, uh, let's use a little blue in there and the Rotterdam ones in home, let's say orange. Next step, um, where am I? Uh, one below uh, the row with the values. Uh, fill each row with the same percentages. So each row now actually has to be given this one equals that one, this one equals uh, that one. And I can simply copy paste and I'll do that all the way up for only the F there copy, paste, and actually only the formulas need to be pasted 
and again control V control F for only formulas and here as well control copy control V use the control and go for the formulas only and again formulas only okay I have now all the percentages then um, add a blank row between each two sets of three rows and one on top and one at the bottom of the entire table so one between each set and I want actually no formatting there and also here insert with no formatting and one above insert clear formatting and one below so my entire table at the moment consists out of all of this so let's highlight that a little bit next up um, where are we at a blank row shift the cumulative column percentages of one row down okay so my cumulative column percentages which is uh, this one we shift one row down and also this one and also uh, this one gets shifted one down copy each cumulative column percentage also two down so it actually also needs to go again in here so this should be the same as uh, that one and this one should be the same as that one and this one should be the same as uh, that one okay and also even this one should be the same as that one and also this one should be the same as uh, that one all right um let's have a look at zero on the top two rows so we don't want anything up here so zero and zero and then in the remaining blank rows take the average of the value above and below it so this one needs to be average of this one semicolon or common depending on your system and of course we don't want it as a percentage but simply as a generic format I can then use control C control V I don't need the formatting and now we have all the percentages in the cumulate change the format so that it will actually show percentages so I'll select these and then go for home and here go for more number formats go for custom and instead of general I type in a zero because I want a number and then between quotation signs a percentage mark click on OK and it now looks as if these are percentages again great fill out NA in all the empty cells so um, up here for example we need an equals NA and copy paste that all the way to the row totals and also here same thing and same thing up here and at the bottom and we also have in the row column totals we also need those NA's in there and then finally I think we're about to start the stacked area chart by selecting all the categories that we have including the row total then click on insert and we go for the see all charts option in this case click on the all charts tab make it a little bit more visible we go for an area chart we want it stacked area make sure the first one is selected and I click on OK so my basic chart is now here and there are a few other things we'll need to change one of them is that we need to actually change the row total series and change it to a line so I'll select the top one which is the row total series I right click on it and go for change series chart type then get a small pop-up 
and I want it to change the last one, the row total, into a line. A simple line should be enough. Then um, change it to a line, change the horizontal category axis label for any of them so that it will actually start matching the cumulative percentages. So uh, I'll move it up here. And to do that, I can actually go for my design and I can say select data and click on edit and then select the cumulative column percentages and click on OK. Click on OK again. Oh, you're not seeing this. Click on OK. Then the next one is to change the horizontal axis format to a date with 10 major increments. So I'm going to be changing up here something. If you double click the properties window should appear and make sure you go to the last option in there and I want it to be a date axis with 10 as my major units. Now it starts to look a lot already like a spine plot. Uh, add the data labels positions above the row total series. In order to do that I go for my design and under add chart elements I'll select data labels and I'll choose the above. Then we need to change them to my category so I'll click on one of them and again so that only one is selected and then in the formula bar I simply refer to the category it belongs to. Hit enter and now it nicely shows demon. I'll do the same for the next one which is Harlem and then the last one also equals Rotterdam. Okay, uh, hide the line, uh, change the name of the labels, we've done that. Uh, hide the line and the marker in the row total series, yes, because we no longer need this one actually. Well, we need it, but it shouldn't be visible, so the line will simply remove uh, no line and then marker, uh, marker options, there's already none, so I don't have any markers there. Then, um, change the vertical axis to percentages with uh, zero decimals. So here, this one, I want to actually change that this one is percentages. Uh, let's see how that can be done. Uh, I can simply say uh, 0 to uh, 100% and let's see, can I change number and category and it's a percentage and I don't want to see any decimals so now it nicely is changed to percentages Remove the row uh, total label in the legend. So click on the legend, click again to only select the row total and press delete. That already nicely changes it. Add a border to each of the series. So click on one of the series and then under the, sorry, under the fill and line options, go for a solid line. Select the color you want. I'll go for the black. Uh, select the next series do the same thing, solid line, it automatically remembers the previous option. Again, solid line, and another solid line, and last but not least, also a solid line. And I think we're about done then. Uh, you can also remove the grid lines, and if you want, you can also add a chart title if you want, or uh, adjust some other small settings, but in essence, now you have a nice uh, little spine plot. 